Today you're going to learn how to animate a hand-drawn circle in Adobe Premiere Pro. You can use this effect on videos or still images, and it's really good if you're hoping to draw your viewer's attention to a certain object or part of the frame. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Cineguac. As you can see, I have this clip here of my cat, Cheryl, sleeping peacefully on the couch. And we're going to be drawing a circle right around her. So let's first drag our clip to the timeline. Let's just zoom in here, and let's find the point where we want the animation to begin. Then let's select the razor tool and make a cut right there. So now we're only going to be working with this part of the video clip. Let's head over to Effects and search for an effect called Right On. Drag the Right On effect onto your second clip, and with that clip selected, let's move on up to Effect Controls and scroll down to the Right On options. You'll see once you select the right on effect, this blue circle will appear in the center of your playback monitor. Let's just click and drag this blue circle to the position where we want our animation to start. Then let's head back over here and set a keyframe for the brush position. We can increase the brush size, which you'll see changes the size of the white circle. You can choose a size that looks good to you. And then let's change the color of our brush to red. Then let's change the brush spacing to 0 .001. This is just so that the animation is a smooth solid line instead of a series of red circles right next to each other. Once you're done with that, just jump ahead a few frames, and this is very important, make sure the right on effect is selected so that you're able to grab this blue circle and drag it to the very next point. Once you click, drag, and then let go, it'll make a new keyframe. Just move ahead another few frames, and repeat this step until you've made a complete circle. I'm doing a pretty crude job here, but you can get more precise and make something closer to a perfect circle if you prefer. Honestly, you can draw lines in whatever shape you want. And once we're done, we can just play that all back, and you'll see we now have an animated circle. And if you're not happy with the speed of the animation, let's say you want the circle to draw slower than this, we can just move back up to our keyframes and space them farther apart. You can play around with this until you get your desired speed. And when we play that all back, the animation now moves a bit slower. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, these take a long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.